Hey everyone, today we're starting a new series in which I'm titling UI Principles. In this video, we're going to go over some background for why I chose these 12 specific UI principles. And then in the following videos, we're going to take a deep dive into each principle one video at a time. One other note I want to mention before we get into this video is that I'm going to be doing a UX principles series as well. So I left off a few of these principles that could have been a fit for UI, but I felt like were a better fit for UX. So we'll be going over those in a future series. So let's talk about UI principles and how I compiled my list. So as you begin to do your own research on UI principles, I have Google pulled up here and a ton of articles are going to populate. And the reason I'm creating this series is to make it a little easier on you so you don't have to do so much homework to figure out what the principles are. I think that these lists are great, but a lot of them are conflicting to each other. And if we take a look at this very first article, I'll open it up here in a new tab. Clarity to me, when you look at clarity, it's more of a UX principle. You want to make sure that, first of all, you're not confusing yourself early on when you're doing this research. And like interaction, interfaces exist to enable interaction. Yes, that's true, but it's really hard to uh, figure out how to practically apply that. And so that's, that's where a lot of these articles, in my opinion, are uh, difficult to understand and uh, just filled with a lot of great words, but not necessarily practical. So the articles that I found were most helpful was uh, two different articles by Toptal. Toptal's an agency. I've read a lot of their articles and this infographic that Cameron Chapman put out is just really solid. Um, she, she lists a lot of different uh, examples for how these principles look in, in everyday design, but then this um, principles infographic is really great. It breaks down the, the different principles that she talks over in the article. The other one that she put out is this updated version, and this is a nine minute read. The other one was, let's see here, a five minute read so in this one it's great because they actually have a link to listen to it in audio if, if you wanted to check out the full article which I'm gonna be linking this in um, the description but she even mentions you know how many principles are there truly five seven ten and I open them up uh, so this first one five these are gonna be the same principles that she has actually in her article um, so yeah, rhythm, proportion, I think unity, balance, they're all here, um, emphasis. Then um, 99 Designs put out an article, emphasis, balance, on alignment, contrast, repetition. And then um, here's another one by Prototyper. If you go up here, they have point, line, and shape, color, typography, the lists just kind of go on and on and on, right? Another resource that I really found valuable was Gary Simon's Scrimba course. Gary Simon runs design course on YouTube, and he covers seven principles in this course. It's free, and uh, they're just quick little videos and exercises. I'm going to be doing something fairly similar, but it's going to be a little more um, intensive, meaning I'm going to go into each principle a little bit more than say four minutes um, we're gonna be doing some exercises similar to him but I think he does a great job so I wanted to give him a shout out uh, another one that I found valuable was this principles by design by UX engineer it's a, another course that they offer and you could see a lot of similarities between all of these lists that uh, are out there so and then the last one I wanted to mention is Interaction Design Foundation. They put out this great course. I've taken a couple of their courses. Um, they put out this great blog post, I should say. It's a 12 minute read specifically on repetition, pattern, and rhythm and how they relate to one another. So this one I'm definitely gonna put in the, the notes so you guys have that. Anyways, let's look at my list and see what we're gonna be learning. So in my list, I have the core eight UI principles and the, the secondary UI principles. And the difference between the core and the secondary is just 
basically how often you're going to be using them. The core you'll be using almost in every single design. I'd say you, you will be using them in every single design. And then the secondary principles, you're not gonna be using as frequently. You might be using them when it comes to like more complex interfaces, but uh, the, eight, the eight core principles are white space, color, contrast, scale, alignment, typography, hierarchy, which is also known as visual hierarchy and balance. Uh, white space is also known as negative space, and we're gonna get into this when I get into each video. And then the secondary uh, principles are emphasis, repetition, pattern, and rhythm. So with that said, the first one that we're gonna be focusing on in this series is white space. I'm looking forward to showing you basically how to not only understand these principles, but how to practice these principles and then practically put them into your designs. So that's what the series is going to be about. Now I just wanted to quickly mention a few of the principles that I left out of this series that you could do some research on, but I just didn't feel they were as important. So with that said, these are movement, variety, unity, shape, texture, and framing. And one thing I'm going to begin to do in all of my videos is offer a design recommendation and sometimes a few that I think you guys could learn that has to do with the topic I'm covering. So in this one we're going to be linking a few different articles that we just showed on the screen. That way you can do some initial learning and then when you get into the different videos you'll have some sort of background into each of these UI principles. So make sure to join me next week when we go into the first UI fundamental which like I said before is white space. Please make sure to like this video if you found it helpful so that way other people can discover it and make sure to subscribe that way you can be in the loop for all future content. One other quick note before I go, I'm going to be putting out another daily UI challenge tomorrow so make sure to check that out when it drops and I'll see you guys next week.